Hey guys, this is Chess Fanatic back with another video. Now, this is an interesting game I want to share with you guys because I know what I was playing. I just uh, made a different choice this time because uh, I've been losing a lot of games and I just want to try something different, right? So, I'm uh, going to turn on the analysis as well, see uh, what the game or the computer has to say about that. It's not showing the freaking analysis anyway, but forget about that. We have our own mind to do the analysis so um i play the h4 then after that the black replies e5 and i just keep on going h5 then uh there's a bishop so i'm uh, kind of like panicking a little bit I, just, I think that okay i made a bad decision let's uh, try to rectify that so yeah i do this i bring out my knight uh, i don't really care about the pawn because if he take, takes it i can just go ahead and take it out with the rook which i did <clears throat> Sorry, so anyway, uh, after that, there's a knight attack on the rook, which is obvious. So I just take the next possible thing, which is this pawn, and try to attack his bishop as well. And he basically has to go back with the bishop now. Uh, as for the computer analysis, I should be moving this, and I actually did. <laughs> that was the extra point, right? So black attacks again with the other knight. I just take the rook back. He tries to attack. Now this is a mistake uh, that he did. He tries to attack my bishop here. I can just take the knight because he can't really move the bishop anymore. All right, so I try to attack. <coughs> now he can take the bishop here. Uh, I'd be able to take his rook again with the knight. And um, I can actually take out his bishop here as well. And um, he won't be able to do much about it other than just uh, put the queen here. So he's like in a very bad position at this moment. So what he's trying to do is takes out the bishop anyway. So I <coughs> check him with with the knight here. Now he still could have saved the game here. Uh, he could have like moved the king on this side, and maybe after that he could have taken this one, or you know he could have done nothing. But I know he was getting checkmated at this time, but. Sorry, I'm kind of sleepy as well, <laughs> but um, he just uh, decided to resign at this time. So I guess uh, this was the position where, from where he thought that it was just impossible to recover. And I think that is correct. At this point, he might not actually have been able to recover. This, uh, as for the computer, G6 was a blunder, uh, which is actually correct uh, because this move that uh, Black made, um, I was able to get into a very good position. Then again, there's another blunder. Now at this time, what they say is uh, moving the knight here is a blunder again because of that. I was able to move the rook here and gain a very uh, dangerous position against black. Then again, uh, g8 was also a blunder as um, they depict. So a lot of blunders from him. And uh, wow, I, I made one blunder as well, but uh, uh, plus six. One blunder, what was that, e5, okay, yeah, at this time, yeah, I, I was not really sure what I could have done. But anyway, still, the game went into control, so I just want to share the analysis of this game, and it was a fun game for low-level players. <laughs> so anyway, with that, PK News, I'm sorry, Chess Fanatic out, you have a nice day, thank you for listening and watching.